Now, I get asked this all the time, which Mac should I get? And I can't give you the answer because you're all unique and beautiful mover and shaker snowflakes, but I'm gonna give you the top five factors from my 16 years of experience consulting. So the first factor is you wanna think high performing for both current and future needs. So this is like if you're gonna do video or have a baby and take a million baby photos in the future, then you wanna have a ton of storage. If you're gonna be doing mostly just email and web browsing, then any Mac is gonna be like driving a Ferrari to Whole Foods. The second one is you wanna think about options. So if you get an iMac, you can't exactly take it to Starbucks. You probably shouldn't. Uh, but if you get a laptop, then you can totally set that up in your office and hook it up to a big screen and have a big keyboard and a mouse, and then you get two screens and it's magnificent. Number three is the more that you spend now, the longer it's going to feel fast. And this is really important because Apple keeps coming out with amazing new software, but in two or three years, it's gonna be way more demanding on your Mac. So the more that you spend now, the faster it's gonna be then. Number four, you wanna get a really good screen. Invest in a high quality screen as big as you're willing to carry. You don't want to be leaning forward and squinting and hunching your shoulders like this. Your, your eyes, your brain, and your neck will thank you. And number five, last but not least, you're going to be putting your hands on this Mac 50 times a day and making tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars with it. Now, you're not going to care about that $400 that you saved today, and you're going to wish that you had invested and bought the bigger, faster one. And I want you to have no regrets. So now, armed with this knowledge, you can go forth and conquer. Boom, Mac Epiphany. I never know, should I breathe in? Yeah. If you want someone awesome and totally not condescending to come to you and take all of your technology challenges off your mind, head to macandhome.com because you've got way better things to do with your time. Like, for example, clicking subscribe.